Lightyear, the eagerly anticipated Toy Story spin-off, has finally landed in theaters. Part science fiction movie, part summer action blockbuster. Lightyear features many twists and turns throughout its runtime, and that's why we are here to break down those moments, as well as the three post-credits scenes that set up Lightyear 2. This is your warning. Spoilers ahead. One of the most controversial plot points of the movie will be the twist revolving around Zerd. Inspired by Darth Vader, evil Emperor Zerd first debuted as the secondary antagonist in 1999's Toy Story 2. He later became a mainstay of the franchise, appearing in spin-offs, rides, video games, and much more. When the story of Lightyear begins to reveal itself, it seems at first that Zerk himself is the main villain. However, when Buzz is taken captive by the evil Emperor, a surprise revelation is revealed. Zerg's robotic suit opens up to reveal Buzz Lightyear himself, except this version is a lot older. This version of Buzz Lightyear has traveled far into the future through a hyperspace test. Thanks to some advanced technology, this version of Buzz has developed the ability to travel backward in time as well as forward. The Buzz that we follow throughout the film is haunted by a crash landing that happens during the opening of the film. The crash leaves him, his friends, and various other humans stuck on the planet Takana Prime for decades. With the technology developed by future Buzz, they could now travel far enough back in time to prevent this crash from ever happening. Our version of Buzz first goes along with the plan but quickly realizes that doing so would mean that his new friends would never exist. Unhappy with this decision, Buzz is attacked by Zerg, but thankfully his friends, including Izzy and Sox, come to the rescue, and together they manage to destroy Zerg's ship. Zerg is not done yet and continues to attack Buzz to obtain the fuel, but our hero is eventually successful in defeating his alternate self by shooting at the fuel and destroying it meaning neither of them is able to use it anymore. While some fans may be confused by the rewriting of Zerg's story, it ultimately does match several characterizations of Buzz we have seen in the past. Most notably a character that appeared in the popular animated series Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. In this series, an evil version of Buzz Lightyear appears. The character comes from an alternate universe, where he, instead of Zerg, is the evil emperor and has complete control over the galaxy. This iteration is fairly close to the Zerg character we saw in Lightyear. Similarly, variants or duplicates of Buzz have appeared numerous times throughout the Toy Story franchise. In Toy Story 2, Ultra Buzz Lightyear is introduced as a minor antagonist. And in Toy Story 3, Buzz briefly flirts with the dark side, joining Lotso Hugging Bear's gang after being switched to demo mode. While at first we were shocked by the twist, we think it actually fits into the lore of Buzz Lightyear and Toy Story excellently. But what do you think? Did you like the twist? It's time to switch gears and look at Lightyear's three post-credit scenes. The first shows Commander Burnside relaxing in his office with the laser shield protecting the Takana Prime settlement from an angry bug alien. Also notable in the scene is a quick reference to another Pixar film on Burnside's bookshelf, as Burnie from Wally and the short Bernie can be seen. Bernie, released as a special feature on the Wally Home Video release, was also directed by Lightyear director Angus MacLane. The second scene occurs at the very end of the credits and is a callback to a scene from earlier in Lightyear. As Buzz and his team are getting ready to go out on their mission, the robot Eric tries to give the team the best route to the spaceship. As we saw earlier in the film, Eric keeps making mistakes and restarting his plan, and while he's still talking, the rest of the team abandons him and makes their own plan. In this end credit scene, Eric finally finishes his plan and turns around to find that he had been talking to himself this entire time. The final post credit scene is the most interesting but doesn't come until after the Pixar logo at the very end of the movie. The final shot of the movie shows Zerg floating in space before powering up seemingly confirming that the villain survived the fuel explosion. The stage is therefore very much set for Lightyear 2. What is unclear at this point is whether the older alternate version of Buzz also survived the explosion, or if the Zerg robot itself is sentient and now motivated by its own desires. Perhaps if this is true, we can expect to see Zerg become the true evil emperor in Lightyear 2. But what do you think? What did you think of the Lightyear's twist? 
and what direction would you like to see the sequel go in? Leave a comment below and let us know. For more Toy Story and light to your coverage, make sure you subscribe to our channel. To infinity and beyond. Complication